everybody, the Bonga is back. Welcome to part three of Let's Play Dark Cloud, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. All right, it's time for us to head back to the uh, Divine Beast Cavern. I did call it right. Yeah, Divine Beast Cave, rather. It doesn't really matter. It's the same thing. So, we still only got the first floor to do because, well, we died at the back door version, which kind of sucks, but... It was expected, given that we've taken on ghosts, and we're not that strong. So we'll have to do, obviously, a lot better than what we did before. And I also got to make sure that the dagger does not disappear, even though this one can't disappear at all. Oh yeah, if we want to go to the back door again, we can do that if we wanted to. I guess in a way, it's better just to sidestep the enemy attacks rather than just block them. But it would be nice to do either. As long as you don't get hit at all. Well, there's our door there that we can't do anything with yet. And we're gonna need some water badly. So we might just, like, avoid some enemies on purpose until we find some. Worst comes to worst, we'll have to, like, uh, drink the water we got here. Because if we don't drink water, once that all goes down to zero, we're gonna take continuous damage. We really don't want that at all. Okay, holy, I believe that's just for our weapon. So we can attach that to our weapon when we upgrade it to uh, give it an, like some kind of attribute. If we really wanted to. Do we really want holy on this dagger yet? We'll see. Bit too soon to tell. Oh, we found our magical crystal. Oh, this is one big-ass floor. Okay, we're gonna need, uh, water badly. And it's not here. Yeah, drink the water now. We might as well. Otherwise, we could be screwed. That's better. Well, skeletons and dashers are no problem at all. Neither is like a Dancer, a Prancer, and Vixen. Or Comet, Cupid, Donna Dixon. No, that was on The Simpsons. Never mind. Who's Prancer? <laughs> oh, thank you for the money that I can't spend yet. And I also looked up that if you do die, you lose half your money. Oh, thanks for that carrot. <laughs> That'll be nice to make Epona go faster. Oh, that's right. I don't have a horse. Oh, but I've picked up the Drans Crest, so we can go to the next floor. I also gotta keep an eye on my, uh, weapon HP. Because right now, it's not the best. It's practically at half right now. Ah, stamina drink. That'll be good for later on. Let me go to my weapon. Should I put Holy on it? Like, getting myself a Holy Dagger? Oh, it's already equipped. That's right. That's what I was going for. Okay, weapon the holy attribute. Sure, I guess. Let's take a look at it as an attribute right now. Is that wind? Uh, can't be activated. Okay. We'll make it holy instead of wind for now. That may not be such a bad idea at all. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. We don't really need to repair it yet. It's still in decent shape. I'm sure wind is good in certain circumstances, maybe against flying enemies. Who knows? I'm gonna wait for that bat to stop before I attack it. That's better. Um, was the bat glitched or something? It was just standing there. Or just floating there doing nothing. Oh, there's ice. We can give our weapon uh, ice instead. Oh, now we're pumped with energy. That's good. I'd rather avoid getting poisoned, though. There. Huh. Just dodgy attack. Like nobody's business. 
only our weapon has slightly more endurance. I mean, 49 is not really a lot. I mean, the further you... Oh, damn it. The further you level up your weapons, the stronger they get, of course. And they tend to last longer. But some of them have, like, certain attributes that go towards them. Like, if it's durable, then it's gonna have good weapon HP. And if it's not durable, then obviously it's not the case at all. Maybe we should just go back to that other chest there. I noticed there was no water spring, so we could be in a very screwed situation. Real quickly. Do I have more water? No, I don't. I thought there would actually be like a water spring here, but there ain't. So let's head back for that chest. We're not gonna bother to fight the enemies unless we absolutely have to. Uh, did Holy do extra damage? Because it feels like it didn't. Maybe, like, the dashers are immune to Holy damage? We're still doing regular damage. Let's open this big chest. Uh, we don't really have a treasure chest key, so we have to take a guess. I'm gonna guess Explosion, because Poison we can recover. Explosion will be damaged, and Curse may not be that much of a problem. It just means amulets aren't effective. And it was cursed, so... They're not gonna change the trap each time. Ooh, a bone rapier! So we get ourselves a new weapon! I like that. Okay, cannot disarm due to spell. Alright, they were still cursed. Fair enough. And I got a bit of desync there, so give me a moment. Okay, I'm back. Let's continue on here. Well, since we're stuck with the dagger until the court curse wears off, I think we should repair it. Otherwise, it might be useless to us, and we really don't want that. Thirst is still a real serious problem, though. So we gotta at least unlock that door so that when we leave, we can go back to the second floor. I can't get water! I don't have any! Guy, get off my back! If we're lucky, we'll find a spring on the second floor immediately. And if we do that, then we can recover and still stay here. There, so now that we got the second floor open, we can keep going there for as long as we want. Okay, we'll have to leave the dungeon temporarily because we're in a very bad situation in terms of our thirst. But on the plus side, now that we can actually go back to the second floor, it's not going to affect our progress in a bad way. Also, we should head back to the mares. I know the place looks weird right now and still very barren, but remember, if we go to more floors, we'll be able to get more stuff. Okay, how's our weapon doing? We never really swung it, so I guess it doesn't really matter. Oh, thirst is still pretty bad. That's better. Hey, give me more water, okay? And that's all he gives me! That's... He says, oh, you already got one of this, so you're not getting it. But you got no water, so here you go. Good thing I paid attention to that, otherwise I'd be in that same situation again. We really don't want that. We want to be able to make some progress. Alright, so that symbol to the right, I assume, is the number of enemies I've killed on that floor. So there's eight more Atla on B2. That is where we're going to go. Of course, the further down you go, the tougher the enemies get. Huh? No, oh, it's a cat. Aw, you shy? Okay. Well, I guess what I could do is, like, try my new weapon. Oh, this has more attack power and has ice attached to it. Made of bone, ability unknown. Okay. We're gonna give it a shot. Its ABS, of course, is the experience, so we obviously don't have any on that. But it has very low weapon HP compared to my other one. It does a nice bit of damage compared to the other one. So we'll definitely stick with that for now. 
It may not be as fast as a dagger, but it's got a little bit more range. There we go. We'll definitely make this work. I mean, we pretty much have to. But it's good to know there's an alternative. Oh, there is a water spring right here. You might be lucky enough to find one, but apparently you could be unlucky enough to, well, not find one. There's a chest over here as well. Mimi? The hell is Mimi? Oh, it's, it's bait for fish. Okay. Well, we don't have the ability to fish yet, but later on we probably will. Yamich? That's a new enemy. Wow, you look scary. Skinny as hell! And I killed it in one hit. Nice. I don't know how much damage it would have done if it actually hit me. Huh, mystery sack. Oh, it gave me bread. Bread's nice. I don't know if it gives you a lot of health, though. But it's better than nothing. Again, I'm not that big on dungeon crawlers. Even though I'm playing the Binding of Isaac Rebirth, which, in its own way, I wouldn't really consider that a dungeon crawler. Even though the dungeons are randomly generated, just like it is in Dark Cloud. But, it'll grow its charm with me. We've got some windmill blades. We don't even have a regular windmill yet. Also, I'll keep my eyes peeled on my weapon HP, because it's less than the dagger. But the further we go, the better it'll be. So we'll definitely take advantage of that as we move along here. There's another dasher. Luckily, these only die in two hits to our weapon. We got another prickly. We're getting some bait, but we don't have a fishing rod and there's cheese. Okay. Nice. If anything, the bone rapier is really good here. And Endurance is definitely a sore spot, so once we level up this weapon, we'll attach it to Endurance plus one to it. Okay, we got ourselves a map. That's great. We should definitely go this way first for the next, uh, spring. And now we know where the next floor is. We'll definitely head over here. I never even played Dark Cloud 2 at all, but I do have a copy that I got on eBay, like, several months ago. And I was very lucky to get it for, like, less than 30 bucks. Oh, we found Renee in here. Because normally, you you have to pay over 50 or 60 bucks to get this game. And we got an, an Annex room. I suppose that might be for Macho. Who knows? And there's another Atla right here. We're probably gonna get them all real quickly. Well, for this floor. Camacho. It wasn't he like a wrestler? No, that's Camacho. Used to tag team with Unigo. Who apparently is everybody. Oh, you have a drill! That's real scary. Oh, there's the Drance Crest. So now the next floor should be available to us. Once we decide to go there. I do find it annoying that it's going to keep beeping ad infinitum just for this particular case because now our weapon is really low, or our weapon HP is really low. However, it's just fine. I mean, I only need to swing it like nine more times and then it's gone for good. I should be able to catch on and think that, you know, maybe I need to recover it and there's our old gaffer. That's cool. No enemies in this area, apparently. It's fine by me. Candy box! Mmm... Candy... Though I really should be cutting down on the candy. I mean, I really hate for my sugars to be high. Throbbing Cherry? That sounds like a porn star name. Antidote Amulet does not sound like a porn star name, but it could be very useful. The only thing I don't like about amulets is they do break after a long period of time. But they could be really good against bats, so I think we should equip it. 
Oh, you had to set it as an active item, apparently. Okay. And I guess it just applies automatically. There we go. I say after we kill this dasher, we'll recover. Whoa, that actually took two damage. Yep, we gotta heal it right now. Because I really hate to lose this bone rapier. It's actually been serving me quite well. There we go, that's much better. Now, there's probably another piece of atlet right there, and that looks to be the last one on this floor. Alright, we're definitely doing a lot better. Yeah, we found a barbell. That must be for Macho. So, let's just kill some more enemies. Oh! How the hell did you miss me right there? I could have swore you had hit me. I'm not gonna look a gift horse in the mouth, but still. It seemed a bit weird that you didn't connect on that attack. Alright, let's go over to that spring to the southwest, and after we get there, we're definitely gonna head for the next floor. I feel like we're gonna do just fine in that regard. That we can afford to keep going. Besides, even if we do die, we'll still have the third floor available to us. Remember, the only penalty to dying is, like, losing half your money. But I guess, because we haven't had a shop available to us, we sh should be a good idea to stockpile as much as possible. I'm not going to attach that to our weapon yet, that endurance plus one, because we're not there yet. Uh, we'll just go to the next floor. There's no reason to go to previous floors unless you're, like, farming for items and ABS. When it comes to ABS, you're better off just getting deeper. I'm back! Exciting, eh? Don't give me that look! This is for your benefit! Now, here is the intermediate course. I won't repeat myself, so listen carefully. First is the lock- yeah, I already know about this. How are we going to know the LR buttons functions to change during lockdown? Blah, blah, blah. Press L1 during lockdown, switch to the other enemy. Pressing L1 is all in your field of view. R1 is blocking. And there's also attributes. Change weapons, elemental attributes. Five attributes! Fire, ice, thunder, wind, and holy. Many monsters are vulnerable to a specific attribute. To change a weapon's attribute, use the attribute or custom customized command in that weapon's menu and change it there. Of course, you cannot activate an attribute unless that weapon has points for that attribute. Okay, well, that's fair enough. What attributes are tied to my Bone Rapier, other than Ice? Let's find out. Okay, uh, it is just Ice. Yeah, we'll leave it as an Ice Bone Rapier, I suppose. Oh, here's a new enemy. Blocking does not seem to work on this particular enemy at all. Alright. But, at least it attacks very slowly. Oh, we got a wheel! Our prayers have been answered! We found a wheel! Oh, there's another Atla right here. How many are on this floor? Probably eight, as usual. Cloud's house. Or Claude. There we go. That's another statue, isn't it? Uh, magical crystal. That's basically our compass. Oh, no, it's just a regular skeleton. Another dasher. They should be easy as well. Oh, we can upgrade it now. Hey. Oh, you can dash real fast. Okay, let's upgrade our weapon. And we should give it... Endurance plus one. We're not gonna give it ice, it already has ice. Change weapons to a different weapon. Uh, we don't really have the materials to do that. If we, uh, like, change that, the... Will we... Items still required for build-up are indicated in red. So it needs more attack, and endurance, and magic power in order to be built up to a new weapon. Okay. 
There we go. That's a little bit better. Do we have the ability to power that up? Or, you know, repair it? No, we don't. We should probably just switch to our... Dagger for now. Until we find some more, like, repair powder. That could be a pain in the ass, having to switch from time to time. Because we could have a really good setup, and then you have to switch back. Oh, found a cabin in here. There's more ally over here on this side. Statue dog? Oh, jeez. I don't really think we can guard against that. Did we kill it? Yes, we did. Oh, and this can be upgraded as well. Okay, let's do that. Hmm. Doesn't have an attachment to it, though. Oh, yeah, it's already got holy. Yeah, so you'll get holy absorbed into it. We probably can't build up this dagger yet, either. Probably have to wait till it levels up. A keg? Really? Alright, so I'm pretty sure that our dagger is going to be good against skeletons or anything that seems to be undead, like those yamiches. Like a yam sandwich, so to speak. I go after the skeleton soldier first. That's better. Oh, back away. Okay, it has two types of attacks. Uh, uh, ooh, that was clo close. There. Pick that up. That's the Dran's Crest. Definitely want that. Otherwise, we can't continue. And there's a map. Alright. Nice. Uh, there's no spring here, is there? Well, let me open up the door. I think all I need to do is open the door and the floor will be available. Or do I have to actually leave it? No, oh, why do I use the bread? I meant to use the, the crest. Duh. Okay, let's look for all the Atla. And then we should probably leave. Like through that door? I don't really see much much reason to be fighting everything. Or less in certain situations we might exactly have to. Oh, we got some more bread to make up for the kind that I ate by accident. And I'm getting thirsty. That's not good. Can you open that thing, please? Thank you. Small windmill number one. I have to hide somewhere where I can avoid enemies. Oh, get that last Atla over there. And then once we get him, maybe we can fight off this cave bat and get out of here. Using the escape powder. Yeah, we'll fight off this enemy and then we'll be done. Okay. Um, Use escape powder, yep. Remember, there's still monsters, so we have to use the escape powder. Luckily, we can just pick up some more. Music sounds pretty nice. So before we end the episode, let's just put all these Atla in place. Let's go into the Georama. No, that's not what I'm looking for. Alright, Macho's house needs a barbell. So we'll put that on. A little powerhouse. That'll be Camacho. Your own room. Alright. There we go. Now we just need these two things. Oh yeah, Cloud's house is not there. Uh, let's put it right next to Macho's. Like around here. I keep going to the wrong menu for some reason. Okay, he needs a fence, apparently. And we'll 
give him a lamp. Convenient for storing things. Oh, well, a cabin. That's definitely it. And you'll need a bench. Alright. Smells like food. Um. No, that would not fit. What about the old gaffer? No, I think he would actually need Claude himself. It also serves as a watchtower. Then we should put it somewhere in the middle. And it's gonna need an actual windmill vein. Useful for rivers? That's probably a bridge. Do we even have that? No, no we wouldn't have that. That makes sense. So that's not fully attached yet. Sure, why not? Well, let's go back to see Macho. Now that we got his brother back. So this will be a bit of a lengthy episode, I do apologize, but we're actually going to get some more stuff done. Thank you, Bonga. Say, what happened on the day of the festival, anyway? I remember a light flash from the sky, and the houses disappeared, and after that, I don't remember a thing. I'd like the house to be someplace where I don't have to go far for a good workout. Hmm, I guess if I position it in a good spot, it might actually be better. I'll give you something, but I'll keep it secret for now. The hint is rock-breaking strength. Okay, so once we complete the house, we'll actually get something new. A fence and a lamp would be nice. We had stuff any decent person would have, you know? Okay, so now when we go to the Georama parts, when we go to Macho's house, we actually see these slots are available. We'll still need a fence and a lamp, and we put those on Cloud's house. Do we ever dare take them off? And... Probably? If we do that now, then we'll have to look for another lamp and fence. So, why don't we actually just take this stuff off and put it over here? There. Now we just go back to Macho's house and then we'll get ourselves an event. I don't know if you had to talk to Macho himself or Kamacho would be okay. Oh, cutscene. Whoa! Bonga! You've done it! Thanks to you, our house is back to normal again. Here, this is for you. Keep it. Ah, Stonebreaker? Ah, that's cool. I can attach it to my weapon. Hey, that's mine! Hey, bro! What do you think you're doing? Like I always tell you. What's yours is mine, and what's mine is mine. That's how things between big brothers and little brothers should be. Arrgh! I can't take this anymore, bro. We're gonna settle this with a battle. Oh, really? Ready when you are. Battle of tanned out steroid freaks. I should probably go now before, you know, we'll end up on the 6 o'clock news. We can probably pay Cloud a visit later on, once we actually, you know, get a person in there. And we'll save. Well, at least our next trip to the dungeon was better than the previous one. <laughs> That being said, I'm going to stop the video here, and in the next episode, we'll go back again to, like, floor 3, and hopefully we'll fare better. Goodbye, everyone. Thanks for watching.